Hey guys, Chris with Black Rifle Survival. Have another episode today. This is going to be a knife review on a custom knife by Josh Navaretti. He designed the Alpha. This happens to be the one that was featured on Chris's channel of Prepared Mind 101 and William Myers with Mantis Outdoors. This is the CPM3V knife that Josh Navaretti made and sent around to be reviewed. And I was lucky enough to get my hands on this. It is the prototype. But today we're talking about the uh, Alpha. So this is the one that Chris had reviewed, Chris Tanner. Wanted to customize the handles a little bit more, get them contoured so they're more comfortable. They put it through the paces. I'm going to go ahead and provide those links below so you guys can watch that video that Chris did. And um, the test that they put it through. So the knife performed very well. They were very happy with the steel. For the price that you're paying for the CPM3V, you get an awesome deal from Josh here. So, without further ado, I'm just going to get to some straight task right now. i got to get some kindling going. I do have an axe with me, but it's a small tomahawk, so I'm not going to use it. So we're going to use the Alpha to do these tasks for the purposes today, to get a small fire going. So stay tuned. Follow me. guys so here's the alpha knife um, what I'm gonna do is actually provide the description I'll probably put those in the video uh, for the type of grind I believe it's a high saber I'll have to double check with Josh just because this is the prototype the alpha um, I'm not sure what his final production blade uh, consists of but I'm pretty sure it's about the same thing but it's a fairly large knife it looks to be about a four and a half maybe five inch cutting surface I'm just guessing off the uh, top of my head I don't have any of the specs with me but it looks to be about a quarter inch thick. It's pretty thick. CPM 3V, I do know that for a fact. And um, very sharp 90. So this will be good for a fair rod and all those other tasks. But right now I need to get this pine split down. So let's do that. I'm gonna set this down because I don't want to hit the rock down here. Show you how the splitting action is. So you can see how it's pushing that wood apart. Not really even touching the blade. Or the cutting edge, I mean. Yeah, this is probably it's not crazy wood. So I've got a couple nice pieces here. I'm actually gonna split those down because I do need to make some kindling. So this has, I don't know, 
if Josh stopped this or anything, but the edge was how it was when I guess it got back to Chris. Chris standing there at third one on the one. He may have stropped it or touched it up just a little bit, but that's your normal maintenance. So we've got another selection here, some larger pieces. I don't know what it is though. This looks to be like maybe some oak. Essentially, yeah, it looks like oak. I'm not going to risk this one right now, actually, because I have other wood I could play with. But we'll definitely be testing it. I'd be having a hard time with that tomahawk out here. Okay, so spur of the moment, we are going to try to baton a little bit of that. Everything's soaked. I'm actually going to use this for my knee. Everything's wet. I'm supposed to get a little bit of snow tonight. Kind of rare for down here in uh, SoCal, but it is what it is. So we got two knots. I just don't want to get this knife stuck and have to rescue it because I don't really have any other baton instruments or wedges. Oh man, the soak. I get kind of nervous. Here's the alpha. Nice uh, two and a half piece. That's about as max max depth I want to go, or the width of the branch. I'm gonna stand up for this one to start it. Okay guys, alpha prototype, Justin Navaretti knives, already going through the first knot, trying to protect those handles because these are wood, not sure what kind of wood but they're absolutely beautiful, so I want to try to protect this knife. Splitting through, I'll bring you guys back down. Keep following this piece through all the way. Probably get back down at this point. Oops. Just in case the blade decides to send itself home. This is actually pretty rotted. I don't know if that's up. That kind of looks like cedar. It's got pig pinkish color on the inside. Mystery wood. Not sure what it is. Well, let's go ahead and split this one again. Sorry guys, give me a minute. Yeah, it's more dry rot than anything. Safety first. luck with rotted wood on my channel anyways as you can see I did power through a couple knots on this mystery wood I do know I have eucalyptus 
and some oak and a few other odds and ends, but I gotta get back inside and get this fire going. So, don't go anywhere. Alpha nice. Josh and I are ready. Awesome. We'll do uh, edge retention inside. Test that out. Alright guys, back again. Uh, decided to head into the cabin because I've been outside freezing all day uh, in the rain. It's been a cold day up in the mountains, but uh, did some light batoning with the Alpha knife. Break it out again, I got it in the dangler sheath. But let's talk a little bit more about this knife here and then we'll get a nice fire going. Um, as you can tell, possibly there is a little bit of, uh, what's that called, not sap, uh, just residue left over from splitting the wood. That's normal on these knives. Um, as far as the handles go, these I believe are mosaic pins, very beautiful pins if you can see that. So I know Josh can customize these knives for you if you want one, like my BRS, that's custom. Um, talk to Josh and he can get you hooked up. These scales are absolutely awesome. I don't know what type of wood, I'll have to contact him again. I don't want to make a false statement and say it's oak if it's like ironwood or something, you know. But the profile of this knife design I think it's extremely nice I've been focusing issues the Alpha this is a great design Josh um, I really think um, people are gonna like this it's very comfortable especially with the finger up here you're not gonna run into the blade Josh grinds it perfectly so there's a section that is not sharp so you won't get yourself if you're not paying attention there's no jimping on the knife but this is a very sharp 90 so this will throw sparks off of a ferro CM rod very nicely. Uh, the tip is very stout. I don't know if you guys can check that out. Actually, I'll clean it up. Very stout tip. So you could do some stabbing with this and prying up bark if you wanted. Uh, it's got a secondary bevel on it, micro bevel. Josh put one on my BRS too, so uh, it worked out real nice, but. That'll be coming along later. I got some tweaks to do on the design, but this is about the Alpha. Now, if Chris Tanner of Prepared Mind 101 already approves this, and he tests a lot of knives from a lot of companies, so if he's saying that this is good, you know, it's, it's already going to be good. Now, Josh allowed me to test this on my channel, Black, Black Rifle Survival. As a friend, that's, that's a really nice gesture, a kind gesture. Um, it's, you know, being friends with them, it's, it's a great thing. This community is really good. Uh, learn a lot of things, meet a lot of good people, and uh, you know, I get to test out awesome custom knives like this. You know, these are opportunities that I'd never get if I wasn't in this YouTube community with you guys. And I gotta say, this is a lot of fun. You know, testing knives and t uh, checking them out. I'm kind of excited right now, so I'm kind of stuttering a little bit. But anyways, let's get this fire going. I don't have my ferro rod because I'm actually holding off on a review, so I'll be doing a follow up later. But uh, we're going to go ahead and cheat a little bit here. You didn't see this on my channel. Alright guys, let me uh, stoke the fire here and we'll do our final thoughts and conclusion on the Alpha by Josh Navaretti Knives. Alright guys, so you might hear some stuff in the background. We got some microwaves going because uh, I just got hungry. Now this actually came off of my dangler for the BRS, but I wanted to show you some of the leather work that Josh does with his knives. He will make you an awesome sheath to hold your knife. Mine's similar to it, but I'm not going to be doing that one for a time because I've got some tweaks I want to do to it. But here's the Alpha alpha sheath. It's got kind of like a Scout Carry design to it. Really high grade leather. There's a stamp. Navaretti knives. Neat little D-ring for a uh, belt dangler. You can carry this, um, well, at least for this sheath, you're going to have to have the attachment dangler unless you want to carry it scout style. So, he gives you these awesome clips here. Heavy duty. That just snaps right on. Like so. And it's got a snap. So you can just slide that through your belt, clip it on, and you're good to go for the dangler. It does have a ferro rod loop. This is, I believe, for your... 3 16 maybe, or a little less than the half inch. Yeah, that's the small ones. But you can get a different size one made. I've, he'll make different sizes for whatever you want. You just gotta let him know. All right, guys. There's the sheath and the leather. 
Excellent stitching, last part in the welt. Check that out. It's good stuff. And then there a drain hole? He does include a drain hole. So that's cool. Alrighty, enough about the knife. Let's get the fire started. And I'll get back to you with my final thoughts. Okay, so let's get this fire started with the uh, pinion pine that the alpha split. Uh, stuff's really seasoned really dry, so it was like no effort whatsoever. But it did split some kind of mystery wood. Possibly eucalyptus? I, I'm not sure. Extreme start. Fire tenders. You guys have no idea how bad I want to buy a cabin now after this. Or just uh, quit my job, move up into the mountains, and uh, build one from scratch. You know. Uh, we got a mixture of wet woods and barks, random stuff, so probably throw the wet wood on top, get that to start drying out. Alright guys, this is Chris with Black Rifle Survival. Checking on Navaretti knives. The Alpha. Get in contact with them. Place an order for a knife. I think you'll be uh, pleasantly surprised with what you can make. If you got the ideas, draw it out on a piece of paper, email it to them, and uh, get your knife started. Full on custom work. Good job with this knife, Josh. <laughs>